standing here with sophomore Maurice Watson Jr. after the Terriers battled UConn uh, in a tough loss. Uh, Maurice, your thoughts on the game? I just think we just had these tough spurts where, you know, we couldn't get stops. You know, our shot wasn't falling um, like it normally does. And we just have to battle through and just get stops and even when our shots aren't falling. And what does it say about the team's resiliency? You were down by 19 in the first half, but came all the way back to take the lead in the second half. Um, it just it just shows, you know, how tough we are. You know how if you stick together, you know everything is going to be fine. You know we you know we knew our shot was going to fall. You know we knew that they were going to make out um, good runs because they're a good team. But you know just show how tough we are. You know game's never over. You know there's there's 40 minutes in the game, and you know it just you just have to be strong. You know play through the tough times and. And the fact that we could battle through that, you know, just shows how tough, how mentally and physically tough we are as a team. And I asked you about Don Morris uh, against Lowell. What about his performance again? He almost had a double-double. I like the way Don played tonight. You know, Don came out hard. You know, he, he didn't let their size affect him. You know, he came out and, like, he went up their chest. You know, this is actually the... This is one of the best games I've seen Don when it comes to him playing tough. You know, he just was tough. He just was a tough guy tonight. You know, we're gonna need that from him, from him every night. And we can't let this loss, you know, discourage discourage him from coming out and being just a tough kid that he is. And then there's been a lot of pressure put on DJ being named preseason play of the year, and he finally had his own breakout game with the several big three pointers. What about his performance, and how big is it that he he get on a groove? Yeah, I mean, it's big that DJ gets on a groove because it just shows that you know he that he's that he's the even in itself, you know, uh, coming out and having two tough games like he did, you know, it was easy for him to just fall by the wayside and, and just, well, my shot isn't falling, you know, and to come out and not be aggressive. You know, DJ just stays with it, you know, uh, me and him talk, and I just told him that I'm not going to stop giving him the ball. I don't expect him to stop shooting. The team doesn't expect him to stop shooting. So, you know, we just need him further on, you know, through the season to just keep keep getting hot and you know, keep being on the street. And now uh, you're still above 500 at 2-1, and one, but three big games coming up this weekend uh, in California. How does the team uh, keep the momentum going? going just by going back to practice and you know getting you know getting back you know getting back to to what we do you know we have to go back and get better you know we have to see what we did wrong this game you know see how we can improve and we just can't let this loss turn into a second loss you know we have to we have to let this one go you know go back and you know improve on the mistakes that we made like I said and you know be ready to face you know some more tougher team down the road you know there's a long season you know you don't you don't expect to win every game but you want to win every game you know so we just got to keep our composure keep our heads high you know and just go back and get better all right thanks Maurice all right